My dear students, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will be explaining the Bachelor of Commerce 6th semester subject Multimedia Systems as prescribed by Usmania University and other universities of Telangana. We will go through the important questions and answers one by one. Let's begin with a quick revision. Unit 1, the important short question is. 1. What is multimedia? Multimedia means using multiple types of media, like text, images, audio, video, and animation, together to share information or create content. It makes communication more fun, clear, and interactive. Example Watching a movie involves video, scenes, audio, dialogues, text, subtitles, and music. This is multimedia in action. Where is multimedia used? Education, smart classes, e-learning videos, entertainment, games, movies, music apps, business, advertisements, presentations, social media, reels, YouTube, memes. Easy tip to remember. Multi means many plus, media means ways to share content. So, Multimedia is equal to many ways to show information together. Next important short question is to explain about digital representation of audio. What is digital representation of audio? When we speak or make sound, it is in analog, natural, form, smooth and continuous. But computers can only understand digital, zeros and ones, form. So, to store or play sound on a computer or phone, we convert analog sound into digital. This process is called digitization. How it works? 1. Sampling The sound wave is measured at small time intervals. Each point is called a sample. 2. Quantization Each sample is given a numeric value. 3. Encoding these values are changed into binary, zeros and ones for the computer. Example When you record your voice on a phone, it converts your sound into digital format like MP3 or WAV so it can be saved and played. Easy tip to remember. Sound samples numbers zeros and ones is equal to digital audio. Next important short question is 3. Explain about Timing Standards Speech Generation What is Timing Standard in Speech Generation? In Speech Generation, a computer or system creates human-like voice. To make this speech sound natural, timing is very important. Timing Standards help decide how long to pause, how fast to speak, and how words are stressed. If timing is wrong, the speech may sound robotic or hard to understand. Key points in timing 1. Speech rate How fast or slow the system talks 2. Pause duration How long to stop between words or sentences 3. Stress timing Giving more time to important words like we do in real speech. Example In Google Assistant or Alexa when it says your alarm is set for 7 a.m. It uses correct pauses and speed to sound natural, thanks to timing standards. Easy tip to remember. Good timing is equal to clear and human-like speech. Without timing, speech sounds like a robot. Next important short question is. 4. What is media strand? A media strand is a single stream of media data like audio, video, text, or animation that flows in a continuous way. In multimedia systems, we often deal with different media types together. Each of these types is called a strand when it flows separately. Example In a video call, the video is one strand. The audio is another strand. If captions appear, that's a text strand. All these strands work together to give a complete multimedia experience. Why is it important? 
media strands must be synchronized, matched properly. If the video is faster than the audio, it looks weird. Easy tip to remember. Strand is equal to one line of media, like a thread. Many strands combine to make a full multimedia experience. Next unit 1 Important Long Questions First important long question is 1. Explain the properties of multimedia systems. Properties of multimedia systems a multimedia system is a computer-based system that uses more than one type of media like text, image, audio, video, animation together. To work properly and give a smooth experience, it must have some special properties. Let's look at these properties in a simple way. 1. Handling multiple media types A multimedia system must support text, images, audio, video, and animation. Example, watching a YouTube video involves all these types. 2. Time Sensitivity Some media like audio and video are time-based, meaning they must be played in the correct timing. Example, in a video call, if your friend's voice comes before or after their lips move, it feels odd. Timing Matters 3. Synchronization All media types must work together in sync. Example, in a movie, the background music must match the scene to create the right feeling. 4. Interactivity Multimedia systems allow users to interact with the content. Example, clicking on buttons in a learning app to hear sounds or watch animations. 5. Real-time delivery some applications, like games or live streaming, need data to be delivered and played instantly. Example, online gaming or video calls need real-time performance. 6. High data volume Multimedia files, especially video and audio, take a lot of space, so the system must handle large data smoothly. 7. Integration the system should combine all media types smoothly into one experience. Example, a PowerPoint presentation with text, images, music, and video all in one slide. Easy tip to remember. Think of a multimedia system like a team, each player, text, sound, video, must play their part at the right time and speed for a winning performance. Next important long question is, to explain about data streams characteristics. What is a data stream? A data stream is a continuous flow of data, like audio or video, that is sent and received over time. In multimedia, we deal with audio streams, video streams, text streams, etc. For example, when you watch a YouTube video, the video and audio are streamed to your device, that's a data stream. Characteristics of data streams Let's look at some important features of data streams in simple terms. 1. Continuous flow Data comes bit by bit, not all at once. It's like water flowing through a pipe. Example, watching a live cricket match, data flows continuously as the match goes on. 2. Time dependent some streams, like audio-video, are time-sensitive. They must be played in the correct timing. Example, in a movie, the voice and video must match. If delayed, it feels unnatural. 3. Unidirectional or bidirectional Unidirectional data flows in one direction, like radio. Bidirectional data flows both ways, like a Zoom call. Example, in online classes, both teacher and student talk, that's bidirectional streaming. 4. Real-time or stored. Real-time stream, delivered and played instantly, example, live news. Stored stream, saved and played later, example, downloaded movie. 5. Variable bit rate. Sometimes the amount of data changes based on what's happening. Example, in a video, 
Slow scenes use less data, action scenes use more. 6. Synchronization Audio and video data streams must stay in sync for a smooth experience. Example, in a music video, if lips move at the wrong time, it feels odd. Easy tip to remember. Stream is equal to flow plus time plus sync. Data streams must flow smoothly, be on time and stay matched. Next important long question is. 3. Briefly write about numeric instruments, digital interface bar concepts. 1. Numeric instruments, digital interface, MIDI. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. It is a standard way for musical instruments and computers to talk to each other using digital signals. What it does? It doesn't send actual sound. Instead, it sends instructions like Which note to play? How long to play? How loud it should be? Example If you press a key on a digital piano, the MIDI signal tells the computer Play note C for 2 seconds at medium volume. This is very useful in music production and audio editing software like FL Studio or GarageBand. Easy tip to remember. MIDI is equal to music messages in digital form. 2. Bark Concepts Bark is related to how humans hear sound frequencies. The bark scale breaks sound into 24 critical bands based on how our ears process different pitches. Why is it useful? Humans don't hear all sounds equally. Some frequencies feel louder or more sensitive to our ears. So, in multimedia, like audio compression, we use bark scale to focus on what the ear can actually hear well and reduce the rest. Example When compressing a song, like in MP3, sounds that are too soft or not clearly heard by human ears are removed. This makes the file smaller without changing what we hear, thanks to bark concepts. Easy tip to remember. Bark is equal to how your ear barks response to different sounds. MIDI tells what to play, bark tells what we hear best. These concepts are key in music creation and sound quality in multimedia systems. Next important long question is 4. Explain about analysis and transmission. What is analysis and transmission in multimedia? In multimedia systems, analysis means studying and processing media data like audio, video, text, so that it can be used efficiently. Transmission means sending that data from one place to another like from your mobile to YouTube or from a server to your phone. 1. Analysis Before sending or storing multimedia data, it must be analyzed too. Understand its content, example, detecting voice or objects in video. Compress it, make the file smaller to save space and reduce load time. Remove unnecessary parts, like noise in audio. Example, in a video call app like Zoom, your voice is analyzed in real time to remove background noise and improve clarity. 2. Transmission After analysis, the multimedia data is transmitted, sent to another device or user over a network like the internet. Transmission should be fast so users don't have to wait. Accurate, no loss of important content. Synchronized audio and video must match. Example When you watch a movie on Netflix, the video is compressed, analyzed, then streamed transmitted to your phone or TV without buffering. Key techniques used Compression reduces file size, example, MP3, MP4 formats. Streaming protocols like RTP, real-time protocol, used in video calls. Error checking to make sure data is not corrupted. Why it matters? Without proper analysis and smooth transmission, Multimedia apps would be slow, 
unclear or out of sync. That's why these two steps are very important for a good user experience. Easy tip to remember. Analysis is equal to prepare the data. Transmission is equal to share the data. Like cooking food, analysis, and then serving it hot, transmission. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.